Yes, yes. Hi. Yeah, so um, I'm Robert. So uh, what I'm going to talk about is uh, indexing um, articles on Wikipedia. Um, so I'll just, without much further ado, I'll just start now. So about myself, um, I am I did, uh, my main, my home uh, wiki, uh, wiki is uh, on English Wikipedia. Uh, primary I did uh, on Singapore related uh, articles and I have been actively maintaining our index, the index of Singapore related article for the last uh, four years, since 2019. Um, so what I'm going to talk about next is uh, why we want to create an index and what's index and how to create an index, right? My target audience is basically those who want to create an index for the topics that you want to, uh, that they are monitoring. And uh, unfortunately, it will require a bit of technical knowledge because right now it's pretty, uh, still, it's still pretty scripted, um, right? So for now, it's just people with technical knowledge uh, will, 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 will probably will get the gist of how I uh, extract the information. Okay, so first, what's an index? For those who do not know, uh, it's just an alphabetical list of articles and a standalone list itself as well. Uh, so list of all articles that is available on Wikipedia for any broad uh, general topic, right? So for example, it's the uh, Singapore-related articles. It can be any other countries as well. It can be Malaysia, it can be uh, Japan, or even just uh, thematic topics even. Okay, so why you want to create an index, right? That's, in general, it's just these three reasons. So first, it's a quick way to find out if a subject article exists uh, in context of the general topic. So let's say I want to find a topic about uh, makerspace in Singapore. Yes, we can use a search bar on top. By search bar, we can give you makerspace article directly. Um, we have a makerspace in Singapore. It's just not listed here because they do not have an article. Right, so if anyone want to um, create an article from here onwards, they can do it. Um, they can do so immediately. Um, the next one is to fight vandalism in that topic that you're monitoring. So how uh, me and my fellow Singaporean editors are doing so is basically through using the related changes uh, on the article on the index itself. Right. So this index right now currently stands at uh, twelve thousand thirteen thousand links. On page links, so we are actually monitoring almost every Singapore topics, uh, almost I mean not topics, uh, articles uh, on English Wikipedia, right? So once it comes in, if there's a vandalism edit, it actually serves the same function as a watch list. It's just that this is already a predefined uh, watch list for uh, everyone. And also, the last point is uh, discovery of new articles. Uh, one thing about indexing, create, putting on index is that it de-orphans uh, articles. Uh, immediately, right? So um, it always be kept at a minimum. Right now, inside this maintenance report, um, I just put this like just uh, a few hours ago. It's it stands only at three links, and these three links are oh, these three links two were created in the last couple of days. Yeah, and the rest of the uh, because I ran the index like uh, earlier last week, so these links are the new new articles for Singapore related articles, right? And also another thing is that um, in this chart here, it's between 1st June to 31st uh, October 2019. Right in the middle around um, August is when I actually uh, run the script to, to, to programmatically create the index. Um, this chart shows the spider visits. So meaning to say your Google bot uh, crawlers, your Bing.com, uh, all your search engines. Before that, there's like, we only be visited like maybe 50 per day, uh, 50 times per day by uh, the bot traffic. But after updating it, we are seeing more bot traffic coming in because um, it's getting updated much frequently, much more frequently. So search engine, barring the no index uh, conditions and stuff, it will immediately uh, ping and get all these articles out without um, um, much fuss. Lah. It will, it's more it's easier for a search engine to discover new articles, right? Okay, so, but here comes the issue. Maintaining uh, index is very hard. Uh, it's very time consuming. If you do it very, if you do it manually, it's a boring task. You basically have to copy the links one by one. 
it's a lonely task as well because no one else will know what no one else knows what you're doing <laughs> right and it's maximum effort right yeah so it comes to a point where there was actually an uh, AFD uh, discussing to delete uh, 174 indexes uh yes so all the indexes that is related to country and region um uh, topics right the starting this is part of the uh, opening uh, statement it's a redundant and unmaintainable systems of index uh, articles yeah that uh this afd concluded with no um, consensus because um i participated by saying that singapore list is updated somewhere else participated and say that the Vatican City list is updated. The two, small, the, the two smallest city states came in and say it's updated. <laughs> yeah, so it ended up with no consensus because um, there is a, there's a recognition of the effort on, on, on us, uh, the, the two main editors uh, trying to get our index um, uh, up to date. There were also other uh, indexes that were relatively updated, but not to the extent of uh, our two city states. So now, um, this is just a quick guide. I don't have my laptop to, with me to demo the, uh, the crawl and stuff, but this is um, my workflow, essentially to create the uh, index. Um, so the general steps is download and set up the script. And the script is on GitHub. You can just go and clone and uh, fork and clone it. Um, get a list of uh, categories. My script uses uh, categories to to, to, to get all the uh, articles out. So you need to identify the related categories first. And then you run the script, and then you manually update into, um, into, into Wikipedia. The reason why manually update is that um, I, wa I was, and I'm still uh, quite lazy at uh, trying to get a board approval to, 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 to automate the entire process. Um, because also primarily because I do not know how how well received this will be uh, if it's just only for one um, uh, index itself. So right now I was still doing it manually um, and checking through the changes. But if I want to scale it up, we will, there will need to be more semi-automated or even automated measures, right? So first, downloading and start the script. My link, the link of the um, GitHub is uh, repo is there. Uh, one prerequisite is that it is on Node.js. Yeah, so uh, unlike most of other uh, uh, people who are in data science or data engineering, my primary language is Node.js, not um, uh, Python. Yeah, or, uh, so uh, that is something that uh, I think is more, many, more um, accessible for those who are familiar with uh, using JavaScript, uh, which is most of, I would say most of the web developers or script maintainers on Wikipedia. Uh, in, the, in the main file is uh, index.js, you have to edit two group of lines to match the current index articles if there is, right? The heading, the top heading and the bottom one. And then after that, you run NPM CI to, to, to get all the necessary node modules, right? So this is just the script that I've pulled out uh, 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 to to show you what you need to edit. So at like line 74 to 78, if you notice is the wiki markup of the heading, uh, of the index header code. So every time it runs, it's already loaded there. And uh, it will load into a text file. And I just need to copy the entire text file and paste it onto wiki itself. I do not need to uh, find where, where I need to copy out. I mean, where to where in the wiki article to, to, to remove and um, insert the new uh, list. I just do it wholesale. Same thing at the bottom, um, between line 90, 95 to uh, 102 is the bottom end of the, uh, uh, of the index where you have things like your categories and, and, and other, the CSO um, sections. Okay, so this is where you need to replace. Right, and then um, to get a list of categories, right now, what I do is basically go to the main category page itself. So for example, um, category Singapore, uh, open your browser um, JavaScript console and basically type this jQuery command in. It will expand 
the category three, uh, one level down. And you just keep repeating this until you are satisfied that you have all of your categories open up. Uh, one thing to note is that there might be recursive um, category branches. So say for example, on Singapore, it opens up to Straits of um, Malacca, which then will open up to Singapore, Indonesia, and Malaysia. And the entire thing will just go over and over again. So um, for those who are more technically inclined, you, will, can, you can start modifying um, the JavaScript query to, um, to only open up um, to only open up those that are not on the recursive um, uh, branches. Right. And there might be also unrelated uh, categories. So that's, that's what I said just now, that also like Malaysia and Indonesia topics coming, uh, categories coming in. So that's what I'm going, that's what we remove. And then after that, you copy up into this file category dot list, the entire category um, tree, and you reformat it so that it just only shows the category names. And right, so this is basically um, opening up the uh, index file, I mean the, the category tree. Right, and then category list. And then after that, you just run um, node uh, index.js and you copy the compiled text from uh, right now. I just lazily load it as page, pages3.txt, but that is the completed um, uh, um, index uh, article markup. And for subsequent runs, uh, you can monitor changes with, uh, say, the new article bot. Uh, page itself. So, for example, this will be a Singapore search results. It doesn't want to monitor every time. Uh, every, every time we want to 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 load a new index because there might be changes to the category names, there may be renames or deletions and stuff like that. So, uh, that is something that you need to do the maintenance for yourself for now. Uh, what is next is that uh, I have in plan to make it into a web collaborative web application with a graphical uh, process flow so that an uh, average editor will be able to, um, to to generate index on their own and also to template the output so that it can be more um, uh, usable for other kind of uh, index creations as well. Okay, and that's all with my uh, talk. Uh, I'm open to any questions. Yes. All right. So, uh, questions outside. 